Hi, I'm Jess Davis with the Ulster County Regional Chamber of Commerce, and I want to welcome you to another episode of Jess Delicious. Tonight we'll be dining at the Stone House Tavern in Ackworth. I'm so excited to come and see Linda. It was just over a year ago that we were standing right here and we cut the purple ribbon for the grand opening celebration. So the drive through is another change that Linda put in place to be able to provide convenience and safety for her patrons and her staff. Call ahead, place your order, and you just drive right up. The other thing she does is she now delivers. I'm so happy to be here tonight at the Stonehouse Tavern. When I think about the early days of COVID, it always brings me back to some conversations I had with Linda, the owner here, about some of the big changes she was going to have to make and just opening her doors months prior to this. It was a lot all at once. I'm really, really proud to come into a restaurant and see that there are things like drive-through and delivery and so many measures in place to keep patrons indoors safe. I'm gonna show you those while I'm here tonight. owner, Linda Bradford, and Linda is going to show us some of the um, important COVID measures that she has put into place here to keep patrons safe. Hi, so with the help of another chamber member, Yusheko, uh, that makes plastics, we um, have some shields that help keep bar customers socially distanced, um, as well as protecting the bartender, you know, or making them feel a little more comfortable, and the patrons. And I think what's really cool is that it's not just a piece of plastic hanging here. It's actually, there's some art to it. There's yes. a curve in there and it's hanging from this beautiful tree branch. And while you're looking up, just take a, a look at the rustic beauty here. Um, you did a lot of renovations for We this, did, right? we did. We knocked down a wall. We um, doubled the size of the bar, um, opened up the ceiling over the bar area. Um, added all the stonework in the back dining room as well as the uh, fireplace in the back dining room. It's absolutely um, beautiful. All right, so here we have the pork belly bayo buns with Asian slaw. And this is the eggplant croquettes. Uh, and that's with a marinara and a house-made regatta cheese. This looks uh, amazing. And this is our crispy Brussels sprouts. And that has a chipotle aioli, which is not too spicy, and teardrop peppers. Cannot wait so to do so <laughs> Check this out. I can tell you, I've eaten these more. This is like tomorrow's lunch. That was today's lunch. And this is tonight's appetizer. You, you are a well-fed man. <laughs> He's very well-fed. Well, I really, I'm doing it for her to help. You know, someone's got to taste it to make sure everything is on. Listen, Al, I understand. It, it <laughs> someone's got to eat the Someone food, Someone has right? to do it, exactly. So I'm here tonight with Dr. Al Roberts, who is Linda's other half, and he's also on our board of directors for the Ulster County Chamber of Commerce. He's also the president of SUNY Ulster, so he's a busy man. And there's two questions I have for you. Uh, yes. The first one is, what is your favorite thing on the menu? Oh my God, it has to be the seared tuna. Seared tuna. Oh my God, it's to die for. It's just crispy around the edge and they got an aioli sauce on it and the middle is just the right tenderness it's just absolutely fabulous and it comes with these incredible vegetables these carrots potatoes so my question oh. number two is i'm I, smiling under this underneath this i way. can see that's why they, <laughs> they slide down when you smile you know but i know that last summer linda had you doing some dirty work here right she keeps me busy whenever I'm not working. She absolutely does. So you want to tell us about... He likes it, too. <laughs> just for the record. I can tell, because he's yeah. always smiling. I want to hear a little bit about last summer's project, and then if there's anything new coming. There's so much to be said. You know, it, it started when she first shut down. She was just kind of, you know, saying, well, we got to move outside. So we bought gazebos, we bought picnic tables. Then she said, we need a drive through so we're putting together gazebos, putting umbrellas out there, and we built the drive through The takeout businesses went through the ceiling, and it, then she realized it wasn't enough room. So we got an excavator, and we just cleared the whole field out, and we brought two more gazebos up there, we brought stereo music up there, more picnic tables, more fire pits, 
it's just been unbelievable. And you had an incredible summer. I know you did um, like trivia, outdoor trivia. She did outdoor trivia. She had music. It was, it, it just worked so well. What a beautiful way to bring the community together. Well, you know, Linda is so creative. And when she sees, you know, crisis, she sees them as opportunities. She really does. Okay, so this is first course, and I could literally make this dinner. I'm gonna go for the pork buns first because they're closest to me. There's a nice rich glaze on here and then some fresh veggies. I love the bun. Mm. First of all, it's so pretty with all the colors. There's purple and green and red and orange. And if you look over here, you can see how nicely this was cooked. Served with a pretty crunchy slaw. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. I don't do spice very well. In fact, I'm a big sissy when it comes to spice. But I'm also a risk taker, and I told Linda I'm willing to try it. I'm gonna rate the spice on this from a scale of one to 10. Let's do it. I give it a three. Only a three on the spice. Otherwise, the crispy Brussels sprouts with that aioli gives a little bit of kick. Really, really creamy. I love the teardrop pepper. So sweet, it kind of pops on your tongue. Going in for the eggplant croquettes. I am thrilled there's a house-made ricotta. I am such a cheese lover. Got to get just enough marinara. Scoop in that ricotta. Mm. I'm going to wrap this take quick because this is one of Jordan's favorite appetizers. She's got to dig in with me. mini versions of uh, two of our salads. This one's the Stonehill salad, which has spiced apples and candied pecans and crumbled blue cheese. And this is our spinach salad, which has poached pear, goat cheese, and uh, toasted almonds. This is so fancy. So you enjoy. Linda, thank you for serving up all the good veggies. We're happy, we're happy, you're gonna eat well. I like to get everything in one bite. So I got the spinach, the nuts, the cheese, and the spiced apple. Going for it. it. Takes time to taste all these flavors. Mm. I've sampled both of these salads and you know my advice would be to bring someone along, make sure that they get one and you choose the other and then share it because they're equally delicious and both refreshing. I love goat cheese. I love goat cheese more than I like blue cheese, but I love the blue cheese with these apples, the spiced apples. It, it makes you want to have a slice of apple pie. Here I am again, with not one, but two dinners in front of me. But we all know I'm only eating one, I get to sample the other. This is the sliced steak sandwich. Mm. This steak is melt in your mouth, good. Caramelized onions topped with a gooey thick layer of cheese on a buttery baguette for the steak sandwich game. Time for a bite. It's the grand entree. Mm. 
This dish is spectacular. The salmon is light and fresh, and that citrus ginger adds just the right touch. I'm still eating, and it's so, so good. Okay, peanut butter pie with an Oreo crust and house-made carrot cake with pineapple confit and candied pecans. And Julie, I heard you make the desserts. I do. It is my flame de fame at the Stonehouse Tavern. What is your favorite? My personal favorite has to be the carrot cake. It's the one thing that we constantly bring back. My secret is actually the buttermilk that we make in-house and also the pineapple confit. We have some really cool stuff coming up for Valentine's Day as well. So we're doing a melting chocolate heart, um, which is going to be like a chocolate souffle. Um, I'm also doing red velvet whoopie pies and fried apple pies, which are going to be garnished uh, with vanilla ice cream and uh, cinnamon sugar. So I'm really excited to, to bring those out to you guys next week. And you are really talented. I was back in the kitchen and she was running the show back there. The one thing that Julie forgot to tell you all is that she is Linda, the owner's daughter. And Stonehouse Tavern really is a family-run restaurant. That one time that I got married, my wedding cake was carrot cake. But don't worry, I still love carrot cake. Julie is right. This is perfection. And these ingredients the perfect marriage. Julie's peanut butter pie cannot be compared. From the Oreo crust to the peanut butter filling to this fresh whipped cream, everything here at Stonehouse Tavern has been just delicious.